Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install um, your old plugins for Google SketchUp, like SketchUp 8 on Google SketchUp 2014 or 15. Um, some of the newer versions don't install the same way and you actually have to tweak your files a little bit. So, um, in the description there will be um, these links here on where to get Google SketchUp and also where to um, get this pack of plugins that I'm going to use um, for the tutorial. For, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to this link here which will be in the description and um, download Google SketchUp. So you just paste that link in and you're going to want to download one of these versions of Google SketchUp. Um, not this Windows or this uh, SketchUp Pro 8 that one will work already with the plugins, but these ones don't work as well because they're not designed to work with the old plugins. So once you've downloaded and installed one of these, um, it's going to bring you, um, or it's going to give you this program, Google SketchUp, which I'll load up on the screen here. Here we go. And um, you'll notice that I just have the basic tool set up top. I don't have any plugins. Um, you can go to the warehouse, which is in the extension warehouse, and download them. But your old plugins that are very useful to you that you know how to use, no longer, or some of them no longer exist or haven't been created for these versions. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a plugin if you don't already have some. If you do, just bear with me here because some people may not. Um, this is a uh, um, collaboration of plugins that someone has put together it wasn't me. I won't take credit for that, but they're really good plugins um, that are very helpful for creating stuff. And if you go the, to this link, which will be in the description, you can download for PC or Mac. You unzip them. Um, if you don't have a zipping or unzipping program, you can Google search WinZip and unzip them with that. You will need that um, for this tutorial or some zipping program which is built into Windows 8 and I think Windows 7 um, and that's what I'm going to use. So here we go. So once you uh, get this this uh, plugins folder you're going to which we'll start putting check marks here. So that one's been done. We got the plugins. Now we're going to change the files. So change your zip file or your change your your files. Um, so we go to plugins here. I've already unzipped this folder and in here you'll see a whole bunch of stuff. Now what, there's already tutorials on how to do this, but what they're not telling you is a lot of these, um, you can't just zip the individual file. For example, we're gonna use this work plane. There is this work part plane dot RB, and if you can't see the dot RB, you need to. So what you do is you go up here to view, and then you click, um, uh, uh, doo -doo -doo, where is it? Um, file name extensions right here you click this it should be by default unchecked but you need to see the file the extensions um, so that will do that so next thing you do is um, like I said this work plane also has this folder and what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip these because um, by or uh, the newer versions of uh, SketchUp they use a zipped format and the older versions don't. It's all laid out in individual files. So what you want to do is you want to select these. So click on one of them and then oops, just click one and so it's highlighted. Hold down your shift button and click the other so you have the two files that you need. Right click them and then up here in your menu you'll see send to and then there's compressed to zip file. Okay. Once you've done that, well, it didn't seem to take. Let me try that again. Send to compress to zip. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. It has made two of them now. So anyways, we'll do this one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and I'm going to rename this file. Okay. And that's here in this little note card. It says uh, right here, we need to rename this dot RBZ. Okay. So I'm going to copy this RBZ here, and you'll just have to type it in. But um, I'll rename this number two, rename, and you need to leave the name alone. What we're at, we're after is this .zip. We need to change that to 
.rbz. Okay, and once this change is taken effect, it, it will tell you that, you know, it might mess up your file. That's fine. Um, it will change it. So now we have workplane2.rbz. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to open up SketchUp and um, install this plugin. So SketchUp here is already open on my computer. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Window and then um, you go to, uh, let me see, uh, preferences, I think. Yeah, preferences. And then in preferences, in preferences by default, you're going to be here. But you're going to want to go to extensions and install e extensions right here, this button here. Now you're going to want to find where that is. So I've already got mine directed to it. It's at the desktop in the plugins folder. And I see my work plane 2rbz here. I click that and click open. Okay. It'll give you this message here that it may not work. Okay. And it gives you a message that there was a success installing. Okay. And then um, you just hit okay. But you'll notice that you don't see it right away on your screen. It's because you have to enable it. And in order to do that, you go to view, you go to tools. And if you go in here, you're now going to see one that says work plane. See, that's what I installed, this work plane tool. Voila, there it is. I just clicked it. You can close that and you can drag this anywhere on your screen to, you know, wherever you want it. I want it right there. So I'm going to show you that this is working by just clicking on this tool. I'll click the center point and go here and then I'm going to go here and you'll see that I've created a work plane. Um, this is an old um, SketchUp 8, you know, plugin and it doesn't exist in the SketchUp warehouse. So that's how you do it. You can do that with uh, just about any plugin. You can go into your plugins folder and change all these. Just remember, if they have a corresponding um, uh, uh, folder, for example, Soapskin, if I go down to Soapskin Bubble Tool, you're going to want to install this Soapskin um, folder as well. And that's the end of the tutorial. So I hope you liked it. I hope it helps you out. And if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and comment on this video. Like it if you like it, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.